so excited to do our fall fundraiser pumpkin kit with you today. Your kit includes a wooden pumpkin, three paint colors, a paint brush, four ribbon, your twine, and four different word designs that you can select from for the front of your pumpkin. Go ahead and get your kit set up and we will begin with step number one. Okay, so your first decision is going to be, do you want to make an orange pumpkin or a white pumpkin? Both processes are very similar in how we shade the pumpkin to make it look rounded. So once you have decided that, you're going to put the better side of your wooden board up. If you don't mind seeing a few of the knots in the wood coming through, you can leave this side up. Otherwise, you want to flip to the side that has um, less knots in it. It is up to you. I do recommend getting some water set up just so you can thin your paint out in the event that it's a little bit thick, okay? The, I'm actually going to do an orange pumpkin here um, and then I will flip it over and do a white pumpkin at the same time so you can see a split video. Okay, so now my entire pumpkin is painted orange. I'm just going to go ahead and rinse my brush out a little bit, and I'm gonna start to do a little bit of the highlighting and shadowing um, for the curves of the pumpkin. So I'm just gonna pick up just the teeniest little bit of brown. I'm gonna tap off um, a little bit of it, and I'm looking at this first curve right in here, and I'm just gonna put a curve line. I'm gonna do the same thing on the bottom get a little bit more brown paint and I'm not going to touch them in between because I'm going to leave that space open just so that we have um, an empty space for words so on the left side of the pumpkin the curves are going to go this way and on the right side they're going to curve the opposite way like this and we're just going to lay those out first and then we're going to do just a little bit of shadowing and blending here Okay, so now that I have some of the ridges, I'm just gonna come back, get a little bit uh, more water on my brush and take a little bit of white from the side. And I'm just gonna do kind of like a highlight here and there. Ooh, that's a little bit too much white. I'm gonna get a little less white there. And I'm just gonna do a highlight um, in the middle of this. I'm gonna take a little bit more orange there just to lighten and brighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to do this um, just all along these different ridges. While my pumpkin is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with step two. You have four different word designs that you can pick from. I think I'm gonna do grateful on the front of the pumpkin I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna cut down the dotted line and I don't need these other word designs, just this one. And what I'm going to do so that I have a very easy transfer to the pumpkin, I'm actually gonna flip this over and we're gonna do a graphite transfer. So anywhere you see um, the word on the other side of the paper, we're just gonna put some graphite from a pencil right on the back. And pretty much all I'm doing is just coloring that whole thing in. So I'm gonna speed up the video. Occasionally, it's not a bad idea to kind of lift your design up and look through the back to see if you are missing any areas. Okay, I'm ready for the next step, which is going to be to put my word design on the pumpkin. My pumpkin is dry. I'm going to put the word design um, down and try to get it as straight as I can. It's not a bad idea just to hold it in place a little bit with a little tape 
just so it doesn't move on you too much. I'm going to then take my pencil and go over the top of my uh, words so it'll transfer. I am pressing pretty hard on this and you can actually trace around the outside line of the words so it's easier to know the thickness of your letters once you take uh, the paper off makes it a little easier to paint inside the letters later on. Um, I am really pushing hard on my pencil. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. Okay, once you feel like you're done with the entire design, it's not a bad idea just to kind of run your finger over and make sure everything's dented. Or you can also just peek at your design and see like I missed a line right there. So it's not a bad idea to kind of peek at your design and make sure you've gotten everything. And once you feel happy about it, you can take your paper off and you'll have a light impression on your pumpkin. So the next thing I'm going to do is decide what color I want to paint my word in. I think I might do this one in white just because it'll have a little bit more contrast. Um, I am going to clean my brush out really, really well before I go into that white. And I'm going to use the other side of the white paint cup just so it stays um, nice and clean for me. I recommend using your brush on its side so you have a very very skinny uh, brush to work with and I'm going to go ahead and start the first layer of my word. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch now to the detail brush just to get into those little teeny spaces. Also, if you would like to, you can turn your pumpkin if it's a little easier to get into some of the angles as you do your script. Okay, next up we're going to decide how you want your ribbon to look. You can use all four ribbons or just two or even just one. It is up to you. Decide what ribbon you would like to be in the front. I'm just going to go ahead and use all four and try to match the ends up with each other even though I might trim them in a little bit. I'm going to take my twine and find the center and I'm going to pull pretty tight so that I get a bow shape. I'm just gonna wrap that around in the back and tie again. And once I have that done, I'm just gonna kind of fluff up the ribbon a bit and trim and kind of like pull in different directions so that we can see the different colors. Um, I might also trim these a bit. Okay, now that I'm happy with how my ribbon looks, I'm gonna go ahead and put the ribbon right towards the top and I'm just gonna flip this over and tie the ribbon around the back of the stem. This could then be used to hang it up on a door or over a hook. Okay, and there we have it. My finished pumpkin is all ready to go. Okay, so we're all finished with our full decorating kit. It was a lot of fun painting with you today. And not only was it a lot of fun, but we also helped support the students of JFK Elementary School. So thank you so much from the PTO, the teachers and the staff at JFK. Um, it was a lot of fun. I hope to paint with you again. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody.